Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Super Mario Party. Today we are moving back into the action. Of course, last episode we unlocked all of the characters and completed the main story of the game, getting all of the gems, but there is still more action to be had. A lot of you said you wanted to see more, and my first goal for right now is to go back to the main Mario Party game mode and hopefully win the last two boards we need to win to get everything gold in there. So let's go ahead and play as our next character, which is Bowser Jr. There's still four more to play after that, but this should be awesome. I'm super duper excited, and hey, Looks like uh, Pom Pom's already one of the recommended characters. I don't know if we've ever beaten it with very hard, but I do just sort of want to go through with easy, just that way we can get everything done as soon as possible. Party till you drop, I would love to, um, because there are two levels we have succeeded with, two levels we have failed with. And the two levels we succeeded with were uh, King Bob Bomb's Powder Keg Mine and Comic's Tantalizing Tower. So now we have to win with Womp's Domino Ruins. So I think that we will stick with the 10, 10 turn 60 minutes for Mario Party, but when it comes to partner partner, a lot of you said you were fine with it being longer, so we would probably do the 15 turns. But yeah, for uh, Mario Party, just doing 10, going to go into it, and hopefully we'll be able to see victory as Bowser Jr. And we're pretty familiar with all this, so you know we could skip it, but I, I like seeing everybody just line up and being able to figure everything out. Okay, so. We got pretty close to winning. Of course, this is what we did in the very first episode of the series, but we did not win. We got pretty close. I'm excited to see Bowser Jr.'s dice. Welcome, adventurers. The time has come at last for your very first foray. This is your first time, right? No. By the way, do you need to hear the rules of this adventure? Of course not, no. Okay then, let's roll the dice and to find out the turn order. So let's see what we can do. Ah, uh, two. So we didn't get last, but we got second to last. First, Pom Pom. Second, Peach. Third, Bowser Jr. And then fourth, Rosalina. Okay, not too bad. <laughs> we have an interesting team. Here are five coins as a present. So let's see how well we keep up. Hopefully everything turns out okay. Okay, remember, stars are the keys to victory. Where's our first one? So it usually is in the same place every time to begin with, which is way over that way. It is interesting how most of the maps are pretty small in this game. It would be interesting to see some larger single player maps or even larger partner party maps. I, I Hopefully they do eventually release more maps. I do think it is a little bit on the small side to only feature four maps in this game. And I guess the idea is that you get, can play the maps in different ways with partner party, which is fine and all. But I really, really am looking forward to maybe them announcing um, more maps in the future, especially you know if they're Odyssey inspired, that'd be pretty cool. <clears throat> Looks like Pom 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 goes first. She has um, she rolls a four. Special event. What's it gonna be? Looks like Womp moves that way. So yeah, I'm mostly familiar with this map. It's sort of a shame that she rolled a four because now we'll have to we, we can't pass through the swamp the way we wanted to, which will be a bit of a pain unless she rolls a four, which she did not. Uh, so right now she's gonna have to go to the left or she can pay three coins. Honestly, that's worth the three coins, but hey, I guess you get an ally. Hmm, so who is she going to get? She's going to get Boo. I don't know how thrilled she is about that. I guess she's fine with it. I mean, Boos don't usually do anything to affect Princess Peach. They're usually just there to cause mischief no matter who it is. All right, well, she has Boo as an ally. And we're just going to be trying to do our absolute best to win. Bowser Jr. starts. Uh, and let's take a look at his dice. So he has a Bowser Jr. dice block, which is three ones, two fours, and a nine. So it's, you know, 50, 50, well, yeah, 50, 50 to be a one or something decent. Um, let's take a look at the board. I know that Toad is probably gonna give some tips, as he usually does. We've read these before, so if you wanna see them, make sure you check out the first episode. Um, I think that things seem to be pretty simple. Let's go ahead and get started with Bowser Jr.'s dice block. Let's see, oh nice, we got the four. So actually, I don't really have too much of a problem with that so that we can move the thwomps out of our way. Uh, Cause I do wanna move forward unless Rosalina rolls another four, which is definitely possible. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, Rosalina, if you could just move forward and then take a left so I have less characters to worry about when it comes to getting to the space, that'd be awesome. Yes, you roll a six. You actually got an alley space as well then, cause that's what uh, Peach rolled. Or not, because, oh, you're gonna pay him. Give me three coins and I'll let you pass. Will he switch over then? Oh, I hope he does. Oh, he does. So if we want to go forward, we will have to pay him again. So it looks like Rosalina messed that up. But hey, I guess she gets an ally, which is what she was looking for. And it's gonna be Mario. Cool. So two allies in the game already on the first turn. That's pretty crazy. All right, it's Mario. He seems eager to do whatever he can to help. 
yeah, I'm excited to check out the other four characters, because I thought there were only four more characters left for me to showcase. I guess there's five, if you include Bowser Jr. I totally forgot about him. And we have seen every minigame in the in the game in Super Mario Party, so there's nothing we can't handle, right? Even if it's Fuzzy Flight School, this one's actually pretty easy. So we should be able to get an easy win with this one because I do have the AI on easy, so let's hope everything turns out okay. And yeah, um, my to-do list mostly is focused on right now, completing all of the maps that I have failed on or at least haven't won with. Um, and that includes both in Mario Party and in Partner Party. After that, I mean, if you guys want to see it, I could do the hard mode of river survival. And then after that, really, the only thing I can think that's left in the game to do, that was super easy, is Mario-a-thon Online, which I don't even know how many people actually want to see. I guess it's really up to you guys. It doesn't seem like it's something that I can make a very long episode based off of, because we completed the normal Mario-a-thon very quickly. But hey, there we go, we got 13 coins, which means we are technically in the lead. If we have to pay the thwomp, we should be able to do it without too big of an issue. I think it is a little bit more expensive each time, so it should be like four or five coins to get past him now. Pom Pom's gonna do something. What will she do? If she pays him, then I don't have to pay, and I can just keep moving forward. She only rolls a two. Oh, and she goes this way. Everybody's gonna get an ally besides me. Oh my. That's fine, I don't mind really making that exchange for right now. Okay, so uh, I might not go with the Bowser Jr. dice this time because it is a little bit of a risk. But she got Shy Guy. Okay, well, it's still a very interesting to have Pom Pom as a character. We'll check her out, but we're still checking everybody out in order as much as I can, so I still have all the other characters to go through before we showcase her. And what is she gonna get? Oh, wow, she rolls a seven with Booze Die. Look at her go. So is she gonna be able to loop all the way around with that? Probably not all the way around. But she's gonna be able to get an item if she wants. She's gotta be careful with what she chooses, because now she can pay the thwomp if she does reach it. She'd have to loop around another time. Um, and, ooh, okay, almost. Ugh. Okay, well, actually, I don't know why I'm upset by that. That actually means I don't have to pay. Cool, so I can go make my way right on through and be in the lead when it comes to getting to the star, which, of course, is the most important thing. So let's use our normal dice block, because that way we have a higher chance of not rolling a one, which is what I really need right now. We get a six, awesome, highest possible score there. Um, See, so yeah, we'll go this way. And I think, oh, go this way, we can land on the ally space, perfect. Oh, and it looks like we have a Koopa Paratroopa here. If you, wanna, if you were to give me five coins, nah, we don't need this really. We're in the lead in spaces, I believe it looks like it, so boom, ally space. Wonder who we're gonna get. Hopefully somebody good. Um, it's Koopa Troopa. Nice, okay, that's a decent little pairing. You know, uh, Koopa and the, the kid of the boss. I like it. Lord Bowser Jr., I'll follow your or any order. Just bring me along. That's really cool. So he has his own little text for Bowser Jr. I don't know if it's like that between every character, but that's still a nice little touch. So now it's Rosalina's turn. Looks like she's gonna roll her dice. What's she gonna get? Yeah, she's with Mario right now. She gets plus two coins. And a roll of one, so, so not too far. So far it ain't looking like she's gonna go too far. I, I don't know, I have a feeling she's gonna be the one that ends up in last place like Wario did in our very first episode. She's like the stand-in for Wario. She's even going in circles like him. But hey, we got ourselves the four-player minigame, which is gonna be Get Over It, another team minigame. All right, so it looks like our minigame is Get Over It, don't get bowled over, should be pretty easy. You know, just gotta jump. So, won the first one. I'm pretty sure we're gonna win every minigame with this one, but we'll have to wait and find out. Because now everybody has one ally, which actually is a really oddly fair balance. Okay, are you ready? Jump! Oh no, and there goes Koopa. That's not good. Just gotta pay attention. Make sure I don't mess up at all. Can't watch anybody else. Oh boy, if I do that. Oh, oh, things might not turn out very well, but it turned out just fine. Awesome. Yeah, Bowser Jr. wins! Look at him, he's so excited. Okay, very, very cool. So uh, with that being said, with that out of the way, all we gotta do is head back into the action and move to the left. I'm at 21 coins, so I have enough to buy, of course, a first star. If there were two stars, we could even buy that, so excellent, I'm super happy. So we might wanna check out Koopa's dice here. That might be a little bit easier. Pom Pom starts, of course, but she has to loop all the way around. The only one who's really feasibly close to me is Peach, and I mean, I really don't know what she'll even do. I mean, she has two coins, so even if she finds a way to get to the star before me in this current state, it really isn't gonna do much for her. 
Okay, so it looks like Pom Pom is going to buy the five coin golden mushroom. Well, have fun with that. But yeah, I, I really am not too worried so far. You can actually see some like odd muscle definition when she flexed there, if she works out. Cause like, I think she's uh, Pom Pom is brother's, uh, is a sister of, is it Bam Bam? You know, the Super Mario Bros. 3 boss. I think he's in Mario Tennis Aces. Pretty cool that, uh, I th maybe it's Boom Bam. Bam Bam Boom Boom, something like that. Um, He is in Mario Tennis Aces and she is in Mar Super Mario Party. It's like they decided to take turns with the spin-off games. You can use other dice now, yep. So we have the Koopa dice, which is a one, one, two, two, or one, 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 two, three, three, ten. So it's basically the Koopa, or the Bowser Jr. Bo block. Oh my gosh, can't speak. But a little bit less r risk adverse, but we do get a bigger award for the later one. Okay, we'll try it. We'll see if we get anything better. I would love to roll a 10 right now. Ah, oh, we get a one. That's fine. Well, I mean, we get a two as well. So we still land on an item, I think? Yes, okay. So, boom. A mushroom, that's fine. Nothing's better than the golden uh, pipe. That's for sure. That's like the best item in the game. So Rosalina is gonna start here. And she is doing okay. She has 15 coins, but she only rolled a one. She gets a lucky space. Oh, no, she doesn't. Sorry, Mario messed that up for you. You only get three coins. It looks like Rosalina is sort of in dead last for right now. Well, not in dead last in terms of uh, like literal placement, but I think in where she is in the map and how that's gonna pay it forward for I think that just, she's gonna end up in last. Maybe not, though. Uh, Soaker Croak. This is the one way you have to not come off. Yep, okay. Bowser Jr. should be pretty good at this, right? Oh boy, I say that, but in the practice we immediately get knocked off. Who needs practice? Just take him down. Okay, so um, Start. let's get this a shot. Mm, knock you off, come on. Oh, you have like a invincibility frame, ow. Stop it, stop it. Where are you guys? Jeez, all over the place. Almost got Rosalina down. I actually need to fill up here in a second. Fill, fill, fill. Got it, and then, ow, no! They knocked me off first! Dang it, I feel like they conspired against me there. <laughs> That's the worst. Oh wow, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, there goes Rosalina. So who's gonna win between Princess Peach and you? It might be a tie. Oh, oh it is. They were both so bad at aiming and they were just sort of walking around. I wasn't able to hit them. I'm tantruming in the background. Oh wow, we tried. Yeah, Pom Pom has a shuriken, which is pretty cool. She's in, I don't know if she's in Super Mario 3D Land. Yeah, she is. She's in 3D Land and she's in 3D World as well. I think this is her first time being a playable character though, which is a pretty cool thing. I mean, I feel like that's sort of a fun thing about, uh, you know, Mario Parties, is I hope that each game should have a new playable character that's never been, been playable in a Mario game before. That, that sounds like a cool idea. I don't know really what the future is for Mario Party after this one. Sort of don't wanna see her dice. I wanna be able to see it for myself. Looks like she rolled a three though, and a one. So where is she gonna go? Oh wait, oh, I guess she used her uh, golden mushroom, so she totaled a nine. She looks like she's she's trying to catch up to me right now. Will she pay the five coins? She won't. That makes sense. Um, and she gets another ally. So if they get the ally bonus star, that's a little scary. It looks like uh, it's Gopher. It's the Gopher. It's a uh, Monty Mole, he's not a gopher. <laughs> I don't know why I called him a gopher. That's not true. We played as him last episode. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be so insensitive. He's the superstar, keep in mind. So Peach gets to start now, and then after her it's me. And then hopefully we can get our own star. Okay, so what are you gonna roll? A minus two, ooh. You went for it all, you went broke. Ooh, what? No, no Peach, you ruined everything! No, I'm on that right now. No, why did you do that? This happened in the first episode too. Gosh darn it. Cause now we're all back here. Can I at least get plus three coins for that? No, Bowser Jr. start. Okay, well then you better bet I'm gonna make things worthwhile. I'm gonna use my item just like that and we are gonna make our way all the way down that line again. Dice block, I guess I'll use the Koopa one again. Come on, 10, three, and then two, and then another three, so that makes eight. It could have been so much more if I could have just rolled a 10. Oh well. Oh, I almost landed on another trap 
space, I think. Oh, hey, I found a hidden block, nice. Come on, come on, come on, ah. I never am gonna get the star that way, am I? But hey, at least nobody else is getting that, that's good. So, I am so close to the star, and I am one of the ones that is most fit to actually afford it, and then some. I mean, cause it only costs 10. And then we will have 19 left over for another star if we run into it. It's just, it's only a matter if I get there first. What is the chances that any of the, of the other people, the uh, Pom Pom or Peach, will roll better than an eight? I don't know. Okay, so for right now, it looks like she's gonna land on the Thwomp space, which is forcing her to run in the circles. The poor thing. I'm not really worried about it at the moment, but if I can earn up 30 car coins before that Lakitu, I mean, somebody else would have to get a star, because then I can steal the star from them with the Lakitu, but that won't really work. All right, uh, what are we gonna get here? Sizzling Stakes! Let's see if we can't win this one. We usually do. Sizzling Stakes is a pretty easy one for us. Well, let's get to it. Skip all this, because I'm ready to go whenever the game is. Oh, look, it's Pom Pom. I guess whoever gets the first roll with the dice gets to be in the little opening cutscene for the minigame or something? Interesting. Let's go ahead and do that. Actually, I, that one piece wasn't finished cooking, I don't think. No, maybe it was? Okay, it was. Okay, got it. Mm. There we go. And then, whoa. one more, one more. One more, one more, come on, what the heck? It's like, it's like there's a magnet on the other side of the piece of meat. That was not my world record, that's for sure. Or my personal record, definitely not a world record. But hey, at least it was better than everybody else. Yeah, they are still not doing so great here. I mean, yeah, none of them are even on their last side yet. Pom Pom is almost just like whacking it off. Gotta be careful. Okay, so it looks like, a, I guess, Peach and then Pom Pom finished. Or no, no, Rosalina and Pom Pom finished. Peach didn't finish at all. All right, well, we win. Pretty easy to, to do, to be honest with you. Okay, so back to the action. Hopefully we can get to the star before anybody else, but we'll have to sort of rush to find out. 37 coins so far. So, feasibly, yes, I could get Lakitu to steal a star from me if that were to happen. I don't really know. I just need to roll at least like a four. So I probably will just use normal dice to play it safe. But Pom Pom could still get there before me. If she rolls an eight here, which she didn't, thank goodness. She rolls a six still, which is pretty intense, but honestly, Peach has a much higher chance of getting to the star than me, or than Pom Pom. We'll have to see how that ends up working out. I mean, right now she's not using, oh no, no. Yeah, okay, I guess she didn't use her golden mushroom there, right? I don't really know. Has Boo help her out, she rolls a five. And uh, right next to Monty Mole, is she gonna get an item? Oh, it's an ally phone. That's not good. <laughs> okay, so now she's rolled, it's my turn. Let's hope I can get there. Oh boy, I should. As long as I can roll like what, a three or even just, yeah, three, I need to roll, oh no. Oh no. Oh man, that was close. So, we rolled a three, thank goodness. Keep going this way, now's our chance for a star, definitely. Hi, Toadette. You made it, way to go. All right, let's get you your star. Here you go, your very own shiny star. So look at that beautiful, beautiful star. Okay, I was getting a little stressed there. The competition is right behind us. Even though we've gotten the first star, it looks like we still have a lot of work to go if we wanna stay ahead of the competition. But for right now, we have one star, we have 27 coins. Not so bad, if you ask me. Bowser Jr. takes the lead. Okay, so our star is right here, and we're gonna land there. Okay, so plus three coins for us, that's not so bad. Rosalinda's gonna continue now, finish this turn off for us. She's not gonna use her poison mushroom on anybody. Don't know why she bought that. Because she can never really use it until it affects the person next turn. Don't know who she'll use it against. Whoa, I didn't even see it was over there. Oh my gosh, I thought it was farther down the other way. Ah, great, here's your star. Oh my. So it looks like she actually turned this around. I thought she was gonna be last place because I thought the Toadette would not move over there. Wowee, look at you. So two stars in one turn. We're still in the lead though. And honestly, I could try something quite sinister here. I could end up going and stealing that star with Lakitu. So where is Toadette gonna move now? Now the next star you're headed for is 
is gonna be to the right? Oh, it is, mmm. So still, Rosalina is the closest to getting that, unless we really roll some crazy stuff soon. But I think Peach is a little bit ahead of that, Pom Pom's a little bit ahead of that, so they have to circle all the way around again. So we'll try that out the best we can, but I mean, she's still moving here. Oh my gosh, she has the highest chance of getting it next turn. So my best bet is to steal it from her with Lakitu, the current star she has. I mean, the only problem right now is she doesn't have enough coins to get it. Would she, that might change? Well, she'll get plus three here, so she's at nine in total. And she'll have to do something to get past that Womp, or the Thwomp, or whatever it is. Uh, I don't know, weird situation, she might be able to get it, but I'm not gonna make it easy for her. Oh, I was hoping we could get one of the coin mini games. we got the, the pits. Ah, oh, I don't like this one. It's not luck-based, but it's very, very chance-based. I mean, there's some control you have, but not much. Okay, so one thing that's helpful is when it's getting close, running the opposite direction of it, that way we're covering more ground, ground getting away from it, just like that. Excellent. See ya. Okay, so, so far so good, round two. Oh, I don't like it. And the moment starts slowing down, we know, oh. Okay, so there goes Pom Pom. So really, it's only, well, it's, it's just me and then two other people. It's, it's Mario, which is with Rosalina, and then the Peach team. No! <laughs> Come on! That's so uncool! Finish. Oh, wow. Well, it looks like uh, the, that means that Rosalina and Peach technically won? No? So I guess, wait, what, really? So wait a minute. Because Rosalina fell, but her teammate didn't, she technically didn't win? I mean, I guess she got second place. I didn't know there were placements with this one. That's weird, because she should still win. That's the whole point of allies being a part of it, is that your team won. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, okay, well, Pom Pom's gonna start. <sighs> so she have, has enough coins to get that star, so this is getting a little risky, to say the least. All right, seven coins in total there. Good job for you. Seven coins, seven spaces, I mean. And she's gonna get another ally. Apparently the maximum amount of allies you can have is four, people were saying. I don't know what happens. Yeah, because I don't know how many characters there are to choose from. Oh, yeah. But, um. Yeah, I don't know if there's a way to max out on allies. I mean, there is for one person, but if each person had four allies, like I said, it'd be 16 in total. Is there even that many characters to choose from? Let me see here. There is. Oh, okay, that just, I thought it was gonna give me a list, but it doesn't, it just gives you Yoshi. Well, good for you. Everybody has a ton of allies then. Yoshi, Yoshi, let the star hunt begin. Oh, Yoshi was like our main opponent on this map the first episode. I can't, I can't let that Yoshi luck wear off on Princess Peach. And right now, what is she gonna roll? A seven, nice, not bad at all, and then she's gonna get a one and a one, so nine in total. Look at her go. And she's just gonna go down this way. Ooh, I thought she was gonna land on a bad luck space there, not quite. Ooh, she could have also had the chance of getting a uh, a golden pipe there. That could have been bad. Okay, so finally, it's my turn. I'm gonna go to my dice block. And, ah, oh, why did I do this one again? I don't know why I keep doing that. I keep on forgetting to change it. Five, not bad. So, I'm pleased to see you've reached my space. If it would please you, I can steal a star or coins from a rival. Steal a star for 30 coins. I know I'm spending all my money with this, but I'm gonna get two stars in total. That's really good, you know? So I wanna keep with that, and then just get more stars in the next mini game, as long as I don't get done badly by a total baloney mini game. All right, awesome. I feel so bad for Rosalina. She like, covered her face in shame. I'm so sorry. She's too precious. All right, well, we have two stars. Nobody else has any. What turn is this? Is this like turn six, I think? Maybe turn five. Bowser Jr.'s in the lead. We all knew it already. Okay, so now it's his turn. Rosalina's turn to go. It's six out of 10, okay. And we get the special event, which actually isn't that good. Yeah, that'll actually make it easier for Rosalina, make it more difficult for us. Because that's one star is still up here in the corner. So if she rolls well here, she could still get herself, herself another star. But I'm glad I was able to get her to stop getting that one star. Or having that one star, because she was gonna have two and I was gonna have one, that would be a big problem. 
Wait. Okay, no. For a second, I thought she wasn't gonna go for the star. What is she gonna get? Ooh, she gets one of those too. That hidden block card could give her a star. Same thing with Peach, but I'm more worried about Rosalina right now. She's turning this around on me. She heard me when I said I think she might end up being in last place with the directory she's going, and she just took it out on me. She's like, no, I'm gonna get first place. Oh boy. Rumble fishing, I'm really bad at this one, but we'll give it our best shot. So, we need to find the largest fish. Which isn't always easy. I'm always bad at all the rumble ones. Okay. This one seems pretty powerful. Wait, what's the button? To there we go. Ah, uh, that one was definitely not the longest one it could have been. Uh, I, none of these three are even finding one. That one seemed longer to me, but maybe not. And what about Pom Pom? What will she find? She's taking the most time with it. Whoa, whoa, she won. Gosh darn it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do so great. I mean, I got second place. It wasn't too bad then. But then Pom Pom just won. All right, Pom Pom, you got it this time. But next time, I don't think so. Maybe next time we'll get a little luckier. Or maybe next time we'll just play as Pom Pom and win everything. We still get plus four coins, which is good. I need four more coins before I get to the next star, wherever it may be. But at this rate, I'm quite a competition with everybody else around me. It's getting a little scary. Okay, so Pom Pom goes first. This is like one crowded junction we got going on right here. There's so many people crammed in the one corner. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the other corner, and then eight. There's like eight people just in that little space. Give me five coins and I'll let you pass. Yeah, okay, she's got five coins. She rolled really big time there. She's gonna go down this way. And no, no, don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. You're gonna do it, aren't you? Oh, she didn't do it. Hey, cool. I mean, I still need to find a way to get four more coins before I get to that pipe and then 10 more coins after that, but I really want that golden pipe. It's so good. And you get another one. Are you gonna, I guess you have to take something. That's sort of the thing about the shops is that you have to buy something. But she won for the most expensive one, so money's not an issue to her. And she gets some more coins too, so lucky her. It's really Rosalina I'm worried about right now. Okay, so you are gonna use your golden dash mushroom. Everybody's trying to make a mad dash for the star. I don't think it's worth it just yet. I'm gonna let Rosalina take it, and it might actually end up spawning near me, or maybe even closely in front of me. That wouldn't be too bad. Wow, you got a big roll there. Okay, so I have a couple of options on what I wanna do. I'll have to sort of look this over a little bit. Is she gonna buy anything from this? Uh, she's also going to buy a dash mushroom. So I'm the only one who can't afford a star right now, which has sort of put me in a bad situation. It was totally worth the 30 coins to do because I wouldn't be in the lead right now, if not for it, but. And, oh wow, she got one of these. I hope she doesn't get a star for this. Oh, she almost did. That was really close. She got a lot of coins for it though. Okay, so it's my turn. I think that I'll go with the Bowser Jr. dice block. I have a higher chance of rolling a one with this one, I know. I get a four though. And a two, so a six in total. I need to really see, cause like this will land me on a bad luck space, which I do not want. Um, I could go this way and get the Flutter Shop. The problem, is I, I, I wanted to, I wanted to wait, like let me view the map. So I would land here or there. Like this is five spaces, okay. Then I definitely want another ally, so I'm gonna go down this way. All right, sorry Flutter, couldn't help you this time, but maybe next time. See, in total there are 16 different allies, so if every one of us had four allies, then it would be all 16 of them. It'd be interesting if one of us got blocked off from getting an ally just because there weren't any more characters left in the game. But there you go. So it looks like Goomba throwing in his dice. Lord Bowser Jr., I won't slack off as long as you need me. I love how they actually have custom voice lines for you know being with Bowser Jr. Rosalina starts, and she's obviously going to be able to get that star, because you can't roll. I mean, I guess you could roll a zero. She's not going to, now that she has that. So she'll get technically her first star, not her first star, but back up to one star, so. I don't know what else it'd get her. She rolled a five, so I think she'll also, oh wait, then there's also that. I don't know why she went all through the trouble of doing all of that, but maybe she wants to get somewhere fast. 
So where is Toadette gonna go now? I sort of wished I went the other way, that I went down with the Thwomp, but I would've landed on that bad luck space, which would've totally stunk, because I have a feeling she might end up being in that sort of circular junction, which if that's the case, I have no chance of getting that star before other people, unless I find my way to getting another golden pipe, which I haven't gotten one of them yet, so I don't see how I could have another one. Okay, well Rosalina takes second place, and the next star is, please let it be close to me, like right in front of me, please, and then I'll win this mini game, and then I'll get it. Ooh, this might work out. No, wait, it's going too far. Ah, oh, I was just past there, come on. I can't go back either. Over there. Ah, oh, come on, is that really necessary? It looks like these, this is gonna turn seven out of 10, so next time is uh, turn eight, so we have the last three turns coming up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you messed up this time. Last time Peach activated this, this time it's all you, Rosalina. Run away, she just floats away. You think she'd just be able to float off the platform, but I guess she doesn't want to cheat. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, so we have to find a way to either get over to another teammate, whoever's closest to the star, or find a way to uh, circle all around the map before everybody else. Both of those sound difficult right now. Sign, steal, deliver. So, ooh, okay. This really shouldn't be too bad. Usually this one goes in favor of the three than it does the one. Especially if we don't play awful. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, so let's just run up there and grab some packages. So obviously the drone's gonna be able to get that one, but we are definitely getting that one. Come on, come on, come on. Got it, excellent. She spent all of her time getting over here to get it, and she won't even be able to. So let me go ahead and cash that in. Got it, good, good, good. Run back up this way. Oh, I'm definitely getting those two. That'll be worth my while. And then somebody has to just get up there. I don't know what Princess Peach is doing right now. Hey, hey! Look, I guess you can steal from them. That's so rude. So right now we are in the lead and that's gonna get even crazier soon enough. We're getting a workout in, that's for sure. There we go, Arthur the 10. She's only getting her six to one there. That's mine. Yeah, you're not stealing this one from me. I'm getting this one too, ready? Thank you. Wish we could like shove her or something, you know, if she can steal stuff from us. You think we'd be able to steal from the, the drone or just like bump into her as we run by? Maybe that'd be a little bit too much. We have doubled her score though, I think we're fine. Okay, well, not bad. Winner. Awesome, so Pom Pom Bowser Jr. and Peach win. Yeah, yeah high five everybody, we did great. The oddball combo with Princess Peach in there. I guess maybe this is what Bowser Jr. wanted all, the, all along, just somebody to play mini games with. Okay, so with that being done, looks like I get 10 coins, but they do too. Oh, my competition right now, looking stiff. Don't know where that star's gonna go afterwards though, which is a real risky thing. So I don't think stars get doubled with this one. Maybe they do, I really hope they don't. In first place, Bowser Jr. In second place, Rosalina. In third place, Peach. In fourth place, Pom Pom. We're right down to the wire and it's still anybody's game. Which contestant will win in the end? Let's hear from our guest expert who's gonna say Pom Pom, which honestly I feel like she has the highest chance of winning and turning it around with all of her allies. I'm calling it Pom Pom is gonna win. If they don't, I'll do a handstand. I would be very intrigued to see you doing a handstand. There you have it, folks. For that, we present Pom Pom with the hidden block card. Like she really needs it. All right, well, lucky you. But yeah, I mean, I guess, I don't think it gives double stars for this one, the home stretch. Even better, you'll now get six plus six coins and get minus six from these. Uh, this is your chance to turn the tide. So yeah, no double stars for this. Thank goodness, because that would make it much more difficult for me to keep my two star lead. Okay, what's happening now? Got our bad luck spaces. They're even badder luck spaces. <laughs> Worst to luck spaces? I forget what they're called, who cares? But yeah, at this point, I mean, I think that we have a decent chance of winning. Hmm, I really don't know though. Like it really, obviously it's Mario Party, it could go either way. So Pom Pom goes first, which she really isn't all that much farther ahead of me. If we do play our cards right, we might be able to get a good lead going on, but at the same time, the chances are low because they have items and I just don't. So I've been able to get ahead with stars, but not with really everything else. Wow, she got a decent roll there just because of all those allies. She's gonna get a 12. She runs like a ninja. 
which is actually pretty complimentary to her uh, shurikens. And she gets another ally. I mean, she has, this is her maximum amount of allies. She already has three of them, so she's gonna get all four. So if she gets a bonus star with that, I'm in trouble. This is surprisingly difficult for being easy AI. Well, Luigi's now your ally. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, and Peach is gonna go in. She's going to use what, her hidden block card. Will she get a star with this? Oh no, please no. Oh, she got a star, no way! Ah, oh, that stinks. So things are turning around to me, on me in a really negative way right now. I mean, we're not quite losing, but we're very, very close to losing. So it looks like she's gonna steal second place. And uh, we'll have to see how things go. Peach takes second place. Coming up on the last few turns here, so this is where things are gonna get really down the line. Some lucky stuff could happen, or some not so lucky stuff, depending on the circumstance. Okay, so she is gonna keep going this way, obviously. And oh, I'm gonna hook around like that. Where is she gonna go? She's not gonna pay. That makes sense. Because right now the closest to the star is technically these two. And she's gonna get, what, her fourth ally as well? I'm pretty sure. Wow, she gets Bowser. Bowser's so large compared to everybody. So you need me that bad, huh, girl? <laughs> I like it, because it's like frustrations for him. He always steals her, and she's like, no, and then he is finally, she needs him, and he's like, ah, oh, I wanted to do this myself. Oh my gosh, I probably shouldn't have used this. I, I guess it's fine. Oh, I sold the Koopa block. No, I got a one. Probably would have been better with the Koopa block then. I mean, maybe this will be better. Maybe this is for the best. I can go ahead and buy something if I wanted to. Do I really want to buy something right now, though? I want to buy just a normal dash mushroom. I think that's the most responsible thing I could do, because, if I'm able to, you know, warp over to an ally, I want to be able to use that. It's just, uh, there's a lot of stuff I need to spend my money on. But getting plus six coins is a big benefit. And now it's Rosalina's turn. And let's see how far she goes. I mean, she does have items. Will she get a star with that? I sure hope not. I really, really hope not. You gave one to Peach. Can you really give one to her too? Why is she not in center with it? Okay, now she is. <laughs> she got plus five coins on it, which is good. It's something, but not quite what we were looking for, I'm sure. Okay, so now she's gonna use Mario's dice block, and that's about it, she gets a one. So she'll get plus six coins, oh, oh, she gets that as well, which is also plus six coins. She's landing on the other blue space. So we all landed on some good spaces, so I think it'll be a uh, free-for-all mini game, all four of us. Let's see what happens. Okay, for a second I thought maybe it would be a 2v2. Uh, I hope it's not an ally, it's an ally one. Pull it together. So I guess this this is a 2v, no, it's not. I guess it's totally separate. I don't know what happens in this situation. I've never seen the split screen version before. What happens, is there more than one winner? I don't know, I'll just press the button a lot and find out. Okay, so I'm a little bit outnumbered against your four allies. This is ridiculous, this is ridiculous. It's gonna be way more difficult for me to win. I'm just gonna tap the button a lot, tap the button a lot, tap the button a lot. I'm tapping it really fast. Come on, come on, we're almost there, pull harder. Gosh darn it, we still won, but Jeez. Oh, so I think it's just us going at it together, right? Oh, wow, yeah, it's like a tournament. Come on, we are Bowser's best henchman, except for Bowser on the other side. Get it, come on, press this button as fast as I can. It's not easy, come on, come on, come on, just keep it on our side, yes, yes! Take that, Bowser. You thought you were big and tough. <laughs> I think that means we win, right? I don't know, it's actually sort of hard to tell. Yeah, I guess, Bowser Jr. wins, awesome. Wow. So, uh, that was a little bit intense to say the least, but we do get plus eight coins for it, which means we're at 27. That's a lot more manageable. If we can just find a way to get a golden pipe, it's on the other side of the map, that's so the chances are low. Two turns left. Things are getting really intense now. And his pom-pom start. At this point, like, I might just wanna hope that they don't even reach the star. Please don't get a star out of that. Once again, uh, why did everybody get one of these? <laughs> I mean, I got one, oh, come on! I got one out of the map itself, but everybody else found one as an item. Well, there you go, you get one. You got a star. And uh, that puts her in third. So Rosalina's in last again! 
The poor thing, she tried so hard. I mean, it's still possible, it's anybody, it really is anybody's game at this rate. The problem right now is that if Peach, like both Peach and Pom Pom are both set and good to go to get the team up or the ally star. I think they both get it, which would put them both ahead of me. So I need to, in the next two turns, try to get my fourth ally, because I have three of them, right? I think I have three, maybe I only have two. I really hope I have three, because that way I can get my fourth one. No, I only have two. Gosh darn it, there's no way I can get two more. I really don't think so. Oh, she rolled a zero. <laughs> She's been having some not so good rolls. But she gets a lot because of her items and everything. So they're all still fighting to get ahead. And she is in the lead. She gets another ally. She already had four, though. I thought she did. Maybe she only had three. Guess she only had three. Wow, we. Oh, this is tough. All right, well, she gets DK. Nobody stronger than me. All right, we'll have fun with DK. That's a lot of people on the board. So it's finally our turn. I really don't know what to do. I guess I could, I don't know if I want to use the mushroom though. I don't think it's a good idea yet. Dice block. And roll it. I get a one, seriously though? Couldn't I have gotten a little bit better? I got a four. I mean, I could go this way. It's not worth it though. Should have just used the thing. Should have just used it. I overcomplicated it. This is so bad. Like, unless I get the bonus stars, I might end up losing this again, which would totally stink. I don't know what to do at that point. She's gonna go random. Please not me, please not me, please not me, please not me, please not me. Me! Of course it's me! <laughs> Who else would it be? There's no way I can get an extra star. I really don't see how. So I think I just have to leave it at this. And, you know, say better luck next time, right? If I could've just, I should've just used the, the mushroom, because that way I could've uh, been brought to an ally and then maybe beat them to the star, that way I can get three stars or something, you know? Just something. She gets an ally as well. Okay, um. Yeah, this is quite ridiculous so far. So it looks like a Daisy and Rosalina team up. That's not a bad team up. Daisy still has one of the most reliable die for just in the middle movements, so that's still pretty good for them to have. Okay, so this is the second to last mini game. It's a 2v2, Pom Pom and Bowser Jr. versus uh, Rosalina and Peach. Dash and Dine, ugh. I, I mean, I like this mini game, but I've played it a lot, so I am a little sick of it. Okay, let's go ahead and grab, oh wait, I forgot this isn't the mini game, this is practice. All right, let's get back into the real thing right here. Uh. Hmm. Start. So we got two lettuce and some meat. Move it, move it, we got places to be. And then let me go ahead and get this one. No, 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 don't go over here. We only need, well, only one of us need to do it. Why'd you do that? <laughs> come on, come on, come on. You better hope that the next one needs lettuce. Oh, it does, you are so lucky. Wait, I didn't pick up the tomato? You swatted at it and you didn't pick anything up. That was weird. Okay, so we got two before they did, so if we just keep a good pace, we're fine. Okay, this one's super easy as long as the toad gets out of the way. You think Bowser Jr., being who he is, he would just push everybody out of the way like, go, go, go. Jump onto the tables, he has no manners. He's just an evil little prince. Okay, there you go, and then the meat. No, no, not the meat, the tomato. Okay, so, uh, what's going on now? Two lettuce and meat, move it, Toad, move it, I got places to be, come on. Jeez, nobody knows how to run a kitchen around here. Okay, come on, come on. So it looks like we're about to win, if we can just put that there, yes! Did that count as five? It did, so we win five to three. They still have to start catering a princess having to cater. Two princesses, really. I mean, it's the princess of the stars and pr princess of the Mushroom Kingdom, right? I mean, I think that Rosalina is technically a princess, or is she a queen? I don't know. She wears a crown, though, so you would think one of the two. Okay, it is the final stretch. I have two stars and 43 coins. Pom Pom, if she gets another star through a bonus star, she'll be one coin in the lead. So if I could find a way to end this turn with just more coins than the both of them, and they only get one bonus star, I could still win. The chances are low, but not uh, impossible. I forgot the word for impossible for some reason. She rolls so high though, it's insane. I'm <laughs> just pushing everybody out of the way. 
Oh, no! No, no, no! <laughs> Wait, you're all out of items? What if nobody bought your golden pipe? Oh, no, this is so bad. So now she's in the lead. Oh, boy. I mean, it is possible for the both of the bonus stars not to be ally stars. Well, I can't rely on that, you know? So I probably yes. just lost, no matter how hard I tried. The AI was really tough this episode, even though we chose easy. Like, I have definitely had an easier time with harder AI. So that was not fun to deal with. I mean, it's still possible for us to win. We have won in tighter situations where losing seemed inevitable. Don't tell me it's gonna be in that little loop. Oh my gosh, again, I thought I wouldn't have done it, but oh, I should've just stayed over there, I would've been fine. Ah, oh, that's the worst. That is the worst. I could have gotten that star. I'm so upset now. Okay, well, you get another ally. You're full up on allies you don't need anymore. Don't tell Pom Pom what to do. You might be in deep trouble if you do that. So I mean, at this point, Peach is gonna rush to the next star. I don't think she's gonna be able to get it, but if she rolls a 10 here, she rolls a minus three, <laughs> okay. Well, that means one less person I need to compete with because if I can get another star, from the bonus stars, I will be back in the lead in coins. That would be great. Because uh, well, I'm already in the lead in coins, so if I get a star, like if we were, both me and Pom Pom were at three stars, we would I would win, depending on if I win this next mini game and she doesn't. I don't know, we'll have to see what ends up happening. So she got three dash mushrooms there, which she can't really put to use. Oh well, okay, so it's my turn. What do I wanna do? I do have an item, it's of course, uh, a poison mushroom. No, the poison mushroom's done on me. Oh, okay, so using this would be good because I can't use it anywhere else. Might as well see what I can get. Uh, Use the, I'm gonna use the, the Koopa Troopa dice block. Probably isn't very necessary. I get a one, and then I get a one and a one, and I get a minus three, minus two, so I have a four. So I can either land on the bad luck space or the, just some extra coins. Let's get ourselves some extra coins and leave it at that. So I do have the most coins, I have the most, so I'm still technically in first. Hopefully we can keep it this way. Uh, And she gets a three, then she's gonna get a couple more rolls, six in total. So I just need one of the bonus stars and to have more coins than Pom Pom, so which even if I lose this next mini game and Pom Pom wins, she'll get 10 coins leading, leading her at what, 49? So I guess she would still be in the lead. Okay, so we, we need to win this next mini game. This is the second time you've activated this today, Rosalina. <laughs> You're a little clumsy. You would think she wouldn't be seeing how she floats, but doesn't seem to make too much of a difference. Oh, well, I actually have 49. Okay, I thought she had 39, so she would get 44, so I would win. Um, so I just need to get at least one. At least one bonus star. Let's try for it. Okay, this is actually one of my favorites. And I, I've never done this from the outside. I've always done this from the inside. And every time I've won, Okay. Go, 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 go. I just need to focus on getting as many of these as possible. This is one of the few that is actually in the favor of the one instead of the three. I mean, I guess it feels like at this point it's pretty 50-50 with the one versus threes, the more I think about it. Oh, wrong one, got it. Okay, so I won, pretty fairly as well. You'd think they would just spread out a little bit, but they don't. All right, well, Bowser Jr. wins. Looks like we were able to bop them better than anybody else. So that is it, we're all done, we made our way through. And with that being said, the last turn is over, which means it's time to announce the results. Oh man, this really could go either which way. The Ruins adventure is over. That was one for the books. You can feel the history with every step. I can't wait to see who won out. Really could be me or Pom Pom. Or if things get really crazy, it could be one of the others as well. Each bonus comes with a star. The first bonus is item bonus, which is not me. Oh no, this bonus is for the player who used the most items. That could be any of those three. And the bonus goes to Peach. Well, what do you know? So she has two stars now. And the second bonus is eventful bonus, which might actually be Rosalina. This bonus is for the player who landed on the most event spaces. Just not Pom Pom, just not Pom Pom. Rosalina, oh my gosh. I mean, does she have two stars? Who just, who won? I, I lost track. 
Pom Pom, Peach, Bowser Jr., Rosalina. The winner this time is... Bowser Jr., yes! I can't believe neither of us got a bonus star. Pom Pom was so set up to win that one, and she didn't. Wow, okay, well, Bowser Jr. somehow sneaks out with the win. It was probably totally rigged knowing him, but <laughs> almost everybody in the character roster got to participate in this match. There were so many allies, but we get two stars and 57 coins with Peach stealing second and uh, Pom Pom being knocked back down to third. Wow, we. All right, well, as you can see, we get 68,000 points in total. We gotta find a way to spend those. I might actually end up doing that now, return to Party Plaza and spend the rest of today's episode seeing where I can spend those. Or maybe I should save it for later. Because I mean, if I take a look at the party pad, like it doesn't really tell me too much more what to do. I know I gotta check out Toad's Rec Room. That's something I gotta do. So maybe I should work on that next episode. Totally forgot about that. Yeah, because now we got the victory on here. We only have one more, which is uh, the uh, Mega Fruit Paradise. I need to win there. But also, you know, since I haven't yet, I guess I'm just such a scatterbrain, I totally forgot about it. But you know what, next episode then, we will do the uh, Toad's Rec Room. But for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Super Mario Party. If you watched this part of video, make sure you comment Zebra Jr. So I know you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.